student at Indiana State University and today I'll be going over the Pennsylvania shoulder score test. Um, so this test helps to see pain levels for patients with shoulder injuries. Um, the test is pretty simple and easy to score. Um, so to score this test there's a couple ways you can do it. Uh, to start you can rate out of a couple levels on three different things. Uh, those things are pain, satisfaction, and function. So the pain level at strenuous and just normal activity along with the functional activity and how well it functions for the shoulder and the satisfaction of the function of the shoulder as well. Uh, all three of those things are taken into account. Um, the second scoring is for the questionnaire. So the questionnaire is either a three, which is no difficulty, a two, which is some difficulty, a one, which is a lot of difficulty, a zero, which is you can't perform the activity at all, or an X, which is could not perform at uh, normal before the injury occurred. Some of the questions that are asked during this questionnaire are, uh, can you wash the middle of your back? Uh, can you comb your hair? Can you carry a briefcase? Can you carry a can of soup? Can you carry a gallon of water? Um, can you reach things above your head? So reaching, doing things like tucking your shirt in, all those things are taken into account during this test. Um, and it's scored uh, with some columns are added up, the number of X's, which is you can't perform at all before, some addition and subtraction of those numbers. Um, and then the final score will tell you if it's, you know, how, how functional the, act, the shoulder actually is. Um, the reliability of this test seems to be okay. Um, it seems to be a pretty valid test. Uh, I know it's pretty accurate with what you can. So, I mean, if it's a functional activity for people that may not be athletes, but maybe weekend warriors that are going out and some are doing daily things, this test seems to be very helpful for like showing what, how functional it actually is. Um, this test does not take very long. It can be performed in five to 10 minutes. Um, if as long as you can ask them if they've done these activities before um, uh, this can be performed every day this test can be performed every other day um, on the sheet that I will have a link to at the end of this video you can see that it does show last visit and then visit it also asks the patient uh, how they feel that day so it this test is a very easy test to perform uh, the questions are simple and uh, it's very likely that this test can be used in a lot of clinical and other situations. Um, to see the Pennsylvania shoulder test, just uh, look at the link at the end of my video uh, and you'll be able to find it yourself and look over the material I've been talking about.